Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have for you the Pikachu V box and also the, I'm not exactly what this should call this. It's, well, it says a treasure box packed with Pokemon. So I guess like the Arceus treasure box, I guess I can call it. Um, this is what they had, not in place of the lunch boxes because they still have the lunch boxes but they did a new style in here as it says include seven booster packs three promo cards and more the promos are the same that's in the lunch box so if you do get the lunch box it's the same promos um sorry my lighting is like really off in bed so we i see two brilliant stars a fusion strike one evolving skies and three battle styles um and stickers i think is what comes in here so we're gonna open that and then we also have this beautiful Pikachu V box that I didn't get what I was supposed to get. If you all are, um, I guess, just part of the main supporters that I have here that watch the videos, um, you would know that I missed the opportunity to get this box when it came out. And then when I went back and I saw that they had one or a few available, I grabbed one, so. This is the Pikachu V box and it comes with the normal. So four Pokemon TCG boosters. I don't think, I think I might've seen maybe one or two people open that, but not a whole lot. I only watch a select few of Pokemon YouTubers, I guess. Um, I do try to watch other people, um, but you know, that's just like with everybody subbing to everybody's channel like you want to like the content and the person and everything like that so yeah um i do try to watch other people's contents but most of the time i really watch other stuff like money and whatever like how to save money and budgeting and things like that like i'm really into stuff like that also so yeah but anyway we're gonna open this one first <laughs> and I was, I actually had a different opening plan today. I was actually going to do an opening of um, Brilliant Stars. So I had the uh, Pokemon Center Brilliant Stars ETB, and then I was going to open the Build and Battle kit of Brilliant Stars. But then I was like, Nisha, just open something that you haven't opened yet, which will be these things. Don't know when they would have been opened, but let me go ahead and get them out the way um, and then open older stuff later. So, I'm trying to open this properly. So that this is what it looks like. Let me move this. This is what it looks like when you open it. You can just see the cards right there in the middle. This is like something else that I can just. Okay, so guess I can pull these out. <laughs> oh wow, I don't remember saying anything about Vivid. So here we go. We have three Vivid Voltage. Oh, there's a code card for the collector's chest. That's what they're calling it, collector's chest. There we go. So there's the code card. Uh, two brilliant stars. So that was right. One fusion strike was also right. And one evolving skies. So instead of the three, um, what was it that they had on here? Ooh. Oh, it's on this side. Sorry. Instead of the three, it's not even on there. It's on the little, this thing. Here we go. Okay. And so the three battle styles, that's what it was. We have three vivid voltage instead. So if you all had actually gotten um, this collector's chest, let me know if you got those same the same ones that I got or did you get the battle styles inside? I was actually looking forward to the battle styles to be honest with you because I haven't opened, I've opened a bit of it, but not a whole lot. Um, you know, it's just, Hoping to do just some collecting. So then we have stickers, stickers. Um, am I missing something? This looks like just a little notebook. And more stickers and more stickers. Oh, I was about to say, I'm missing a whole section. <laughs> Where are my promos? Okay, so I found him. Because we were going to have to call the Pokemon Center and get that taken care of. So, okay. So let me move our stickers here to 
to the side. Okay, so this is how the promos come. So they come in this little, I don't know, it's just like a little board, basically. And they just have them, you just pull them out, I guess, which is really nice. Of course, you know, they have their own little hollow foils. So they're all different. I feel like I should have put that back in there. Now I'm scared. And then you get this coin, which is also very nice. It's really big. It's pretty, it's glittery. You can see how the light is hitting it. So that's also really good. So I'm just gonna sleeve these because, yeah, I don't wanna pull them out. And I don't also want to not pull them out and you guys want to see them. So there's the Cyndaquil. I also have, um, I'm using my Dragon Shield Clear sleeves today. I still have like a good bit left. And then also, if you watched the last video, I also had bought some more. Oh no, this one has a nick. Can you guys see that? There's a nick on it. Probably from them pushing it down inside the um, the board and see just like down here, you see the whitening, there's a little line right here. So yeah, there's definitely some damage done, but it's okay. It's not that bad. It's bad, but not that bad. So um, I'm going to be happy that I even got them because I definitely thought I did it. And then here is our beautiful, beautiful coin. So there you go. Okay. I feel like this opening shouldn't have taken this long, but it did. So there we go. Well, not the opening, but the beginning, I guess. So, okay. Oop, here's the coin. Put that over there. So I'm just going to open. I'm going to slide you down so you can see. And then I'm going to open these. I was like, why can't I see anything? Okay. Here we go. I guess this is what happens when you sometimes open more than one. You have to kind of like you know introduce everything and it's interesting of course but it's part of the job part of the job let me move these scissors before i mess up some stuff we have a sableye a cramorant a kakuna i don't know why i got stolen with that one fuchiana voltorb rock rough that i need to go catch a pokemon go taylo yanma reverse hollow eevee and a non-holographic lichen rock. So I'm going to put those there. Um, I do have a lot of Vivid Voltage that I have open on this channel. Um, I do have... I've sifted through a little bit of the Vivid Voltage. But not all of it. Like I have it like kind of laid out on the desk in the room. Um, it's actually not on this table where everything else is sorted out at. But I think I was planning on putting together the binder and started but never finished and that's why it's all still there <laughs> we have a sea dot a fampy a shuppet reverse hollow milcery oh my gosh and a gold galarian obstagoon that is so pretty and i know for a fact i do not have this card wow yay Kind of, sort of, try to, yep, there we go. Look at that beautiful card. Awesome. Uh, don't even know where to put it. How awesome it is. Let's put it up here. Okay, so one more Vivid Voltage. Um, I do have, um, and I think I said this in a video before, I do have um, a pre-order of Astral Radiance coming. Um, it's not a lot. I ordered um, one ETB and I think three build and battle kits. So I might do the build and battle kits in one sitting and the ETB in another. And then, you know, of course, find some um, singles to open as well. We have a reverse hollow lichen, lichen rock, excuse me, which is a rare. And then a non-holographic Yamma. So now on to the Brilliant Stars. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, have, did you guys pre-order anything for Astral Radiance? And, you know, what did you guys pre-order? 
and why did you pick that to pre-order? So I'm just wondering um, what you guys do. Um, you know, just trying to be a little interactive. If you guys could comment, I would love to see what you guys are doing. For those of you who collect, I don't know if, I don't, everybody doesn't collect and I know that. Some people just like to watch the videos and I understand. Um, but if you do collect or if you have children uh -oh, and they collect, you know, what are you guys getting them? So we have a reverse hollow ball toy and a non-holographic Luxray. Okay. So one more of Brilliant Stars. I was about to say Brilliant Skies. Just mixing up all of the names here. <laughs> Oops, wrong way. Trying to figure it out, you guys. Trying. <laughs> so we have a V Star energy, or yeah, a V Star marker, I guess. I still don't know what to do with those, you guys. Like, I just have them. I'm just collecting them. But I did. Um, I have a new family with my job. If you don't know, I do um, early intervention or um, developmental therapy with children. And one of the children that I'm seeing, her brother um, actually collects Pokemon cards, but he likes collects and battles with his friends and things like that. And um, mom and dad told him about me and they were like, he was so excited. Oh my gosh, he was so excited to hear that, that someone else collected and, you know, he's explaining things to them. And so like, I'm kind of like also helping them understand. I'm giving them resources to the places around that they can take him to, to do like tournaments and things like that and trade his cards. So it's, it's really great. That makes me feel good because I can be a help to parents that don't understand and the child also, you know, has someone that can help and, you know, get them, possibly get them to places that they want to see maybe. So I've been giving out a lot of information that way. Um, so, yeah, it's it's been a very eventful two weeks. I mean, that's not, you know, a major thing that's happened, but it's major to me because I, I enjoy it. So anyway, we have a reverse hollow weavile. And then a Mimic UV, which I do think this is a duplicate for me. I would check this stack of cards over here, but not right now. So I do want to, though, in um, another video where I'm doing just the opening of Brilliant Stars, I do want to show you the stack because I'm pretty sure by that time, the stack is still going to be on the table. It's still going to be a stack. It's not going to be in a, in a binder anytime soon. Um, one Fusion Strike. And I only say that because... Um, not to say that I don't try to care for my cards, but I want certain binders now and they're a little more expensive. Not a whole lot, but a little more like, you know, regular binders are like 20 bucks for the three by threes. And I want the four by fours now. So they're like 34 bucks, some that you can find on Amazon and then you can find some others on other places and they're actually more or there are also some that are on Amazon that are more. So that's kind of where I am. But my goal is to at some point in one sitting order at least about five binders at a time to help with, you know, my collection. <laughs> I have a reverse hollow skaters park and a non-holographic golem uh -oh, that I almost dropped. Great. Okay, and then the last item in here will be Evolving Skies. And then we'll get into our Pikachu box. If you are new here, I do appreciate you taking the time out to um, watch this video. Please do like, comment down below anything that you would like to share. I will comment back. And then also um, other people will also comment to you as well. Um, but I will definitely comment back with you. And then also, you can't see these. Okay. And then also, um, you guys, you know, please consider subscribing. So check out the channel, look at other videos and see if you would like to subscribe. Um, I am right now sitting at a steady 179, 180. And I will be doing a giveaway or, well, yeah, a giveaway when I hit 200 subscribers. So whenever that happens, I will do a giveaway. I'm not sure of exactly what the giveaway is going to be at this moment. But when we get there, that's when I'm going to figure it out for sure. But I do appreciate everyone who does watch my videos. 
who comments, who likes, who subscribes. I appreciate you all. Seeing that keeps me going because it is kind of like uh and it's like an emotional roller coaster of seeing watching your subscribers go up and down and up and down and you know you do all this content you make these videos and it it's again it's an emotional roller coaster because you know it can make you feel a type of way if you understand what i'm saying without getting too far in depth in it so we have a reverse hollow shift tree which is a rare and i want to say this is our second hollow rare or reverse rare and then we, oh my gosh, <clears throat> excuse me. Finally, finally, I have an Ombreon. And it's the Ombreon VMAX, very pretty card. If you don't know, Ombreon is one of, well, it's my favorite Eeveelution, but it is one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I don't know why, I can't even tell you why. I just really love Ombreon. It's just a pretty Pokemon and I can just see myself, if I was in the Pokemon world, that Ombreon would be like a Pokemon that had to be on my team, like has to be, like there's no way around it, you know, then that's how I feel about Ombreon. So instead of ranting about Ombreon, which I will do, and you guys know it, because I've been looking for Ombreon cards forever. <laughs> and that's my first one out of um, Evolving Skies. I've pulled, um, I think the Glaceon and the Leafeon and just never the Ombreon. So I don't want to sit this down because I don't want to like ruin the cards. But in here you have the Pikachu V, which is a promo. And then you have the Mimikyu, which is not a promo. I think that's, is it Darkness Ablaze? Or I think that's Darkness Ablaze symbol. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. I'm not really sure, but it's not a promo, but it is like a different hollow pattern in the background. So that's the difference there. I will have to sit this down. So I'm gonna have to sit this right in between there because the code is behind the Pikachu and I wanna give you the code for sure. So here is the code. I don't know what that will unlock. So if you are a person that is here to grab codes, please let me know. Um, what that does unlock please and then we have the jumbo pikachu v which i don't use any of my jumbo binders and i need to like i do i have jumbos everywhere i just haven't again i haven't put anything together which is on me for sure but you know okay so jumbo with the promos there we go move these around okay there we go a little better it seemed a little cluttered to me just a little bit so, okay so we have two fusion strikes and two brilliant stars so i'll do the fusions first and then i'll do the brilliant stars. so let's see what we get out of these four packs hopefully we get something good i mean we already came out with three amazing cards out of the collector's chest and I can't be mad two of which I do not have so I can't even be mad about that like I'm excited about it and can't wait to actually put these things into a binder and actually look at it like I love to look through my binders and see all the cards that I've collected like it's just it's a good feeling to have um, even if it's not even finished, which you guys have known, I haven't finished any set yet. That is a very cute Shinx. It almost looks off, like not off center, but like the color is off, but that could just be like how the sun is hitting it. It just looks interesting and different, but oh, that's pretty. So I just love to look through my collections and like, oh my gosh, like I actually collected all of this, like just making these videos and opening packs and I haven't opened a pack off camera in so long and I really need to do that for myself but you know most of those cards came from me opening opening um purchases and you know material on YouTube so you guys have been through that journey with me the almost the entire time I just you know sometimes wow I haven't opened things on camera but most of the time I do so we have a reverse hollow butterfree which is a rare 
as you can see. And then we also have a Genesect V, which is awesome. That is a very pretty card. I want to say Genesect is one of the cards that people are looking for in Fusion Strike, but it's not this one. It's the um like the alternate the alternate art where he's like it looks like he's break dancing. But this is a beautiful card. Like wow, that is so pretty and it doesn't seem to be off-centered either. This is what I'm talking about. This is these are those moments that I do when I am looking in binders. Like I just love to see them. I love to show them to my friends who are actually interested. Like I don't make my friends interested in my hobby, but they do support my hobby. So, you know, I had a friend that bought me an Eevee cup when they were coming out, when Pokemon Go was like really big. She bought that. She knows I'm very into Pokemon. And she's like, if you want it, buy it, like do it, like, you know. And I had another friend that for Christmas, she actually bought me a Team Instinct necklace. And she knows that I'm Team Instinct on Pokemon Go. And she doesn't play. She doesn't play Pokemon. She has no idea what that is or even entails. But she just remembered and bought it for me. And, you know, it's great. It's awesome to have people that know your hobby. And, you know, even though it's not their thing, they support you in it. You know, so it's just an awesome feeling. I love the community. Even if people aren't directly in the community, love it. <laughs> So we have a reverse holograph lock and then a non-holographic Luxray. I know I've been very chatty in this opening. I mean, I've also been opening cards, but you know, still just, I don't get to talk to you guys often. Usually my videos are like 10, 12 minutes long most of the time. And you know, I feel like sometimes, or the people who are watching, I know you guys would love to get to know me. I would love to get to know you all, which is why I tell you guys to comment down below so that we can have that interaction with each other for sure. I have a Golet, an Impidimp, a Shinx, Milsery, Purloin. I thought it was two cards. Reverse Hollow Escavalier, which is a rare also. And then non-holographic Flygon. So last pack, let's see what we can get in here. Hopefully we can get at least one pull. Oh, well we did get a pull, we got the mini cube. Well, maybe we can get another pull from the Brilliant Stars that we need. So let's see what we can get. But again, I wanna thank you all again for um, watching. I hope you watch this video all the way through. And please do, again, comment down below um, anything that you would like to say, any pulls you've gotten, any pickups that you've done. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, go check out my Instagram. at On there, it is Life of Nisha, which used to be the name of the channel. Um, it's, a, it's Pokemon related. Everything on there is Pokemon. Um, so yeah, go check that out. That's where you will find most of my new pickups um when i pick them up basically maybe not when i open them but when i pick them up i typically post these are my new pickups you know and that's a good way also to interact with me so we have a cup chew reverse hollow sharon's care and a hollow dustnar and that's our only hollow of this opening that's crazy but I do, again, for like the third time, appreciate you guys watching. Please do like, comment. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Go through the channel, watch more videos. And, you know, these, let me show you. On top of the very pretty but slightly damaged promos that we have gotten, we did receive a gold Galarian Obstagoon, a Mimic UV, a Ombreon VMAX, which we're very happy about. And then also... A Genesect V, which I'm not really good at, you know, knowing what the alternate arts are or whatever, but I want to say this is the alternate art because the Mimikyu doesn't look as radiant as this one. So I believe this is the alternate art. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all and I'll see you guys in the next video.